All right. So um, I wanted to kind of start off the training tonight just to kind of give you guys um, the base of what we do on Monday night. So if you're new on Monday night, so every Monday we have kind of like a, a football game where we have a first half and then we have a second half. So the first half is always going to be dedicated to leadership training. And again, I just want a couple housekeeping things. Just keep your phone muted. Um, I don't really have a button to mute everybody. So if you guys can just make sure that your phone is always muted so we can have a nice quiet call. But um, we're going to always go through some kind of leadership training, achievement, you know, um, next level growth, whether it's on attitude or action or accountability. Um, and the reason we do that is because the second half is going to be about our offering with our affiliate opportunity with the T group and the FICA program. So everything that you're going to listen to and hear and get training from in the first half is going to be very, very congruent to the second half. So I really appreciate this. Um, you know, my team has done a great job with like the slides and, and really uh, getting the information out to each and every one of you. So I appreciate you all for listening. What I highly recommend is, you know, get a journal out or notepad and pen because I'm going to give you guys some really, really incredible information today. And this is information a lot of people have asked, they asked me like, hey, Todd, where do you get this content? Is it some book or something? It actually, to be honest with you, I hired a coach many, many years ago, uh, started in 2006. And I hired this gentleman named David Bird. And I looked at my old journals. And that's why I compiled this information, because he taught me so much about attitude and action and accountability and effectiveness and ineffectiveness. So that's where I get this information from the hours and years of getting coached myself um, in leadership. So I love to get back to each and every one of you. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So the first slide, there's going to be three big life choices in your life. And I want to start off by saying that and uh, buckle in because I believe that you could apply this not only to what we do in the affiliate side, but you're going to be applying this in your everyday life. You know, the way that you run your schedule, the way that you apply everything, the way that you you know, do life and, you know, on a professional and personal level. So hopefully every week we grow these trainings, people see the value that this is all free. You know, you don't have to pay for this kind of information. So hopefully I can do my best to add a tremendous amount of value. All right. So the three life choices that we all have are the three A's. You got attitude, action, and accountability. And a couple of weeks ago, I did a whole training on attitude you're more than welcome to have the replay if you need it after this. Uh, but today we're going to focus on action, which is one of my favorite things to do, is I love taking effective action that produces results. And I think a lot of people do have a challenge with this, not because they're lazy, but because they don't know the difference of what is effective and what is not effective. Okay. And then, of course, accountability will be our next uh, training next week. And I know sometimes people look at accountability as like, oh, no, that's a boss. I don't like a boss. Well, accountability is actually one of the greatest motivators in the world. OK, but let me ask you this. If a key component of achievement is doing the right things, then what are the right things? I, I want you to really think about that tonight. What are the right things to do if a key component of achievement is doing the right things? OK, so. We're definitely going to show you what the right things are today, especially. So action is a choice. And I want you to really think about that. Action is a choice. Thank God, because having a good attitude to so the way that you wake up, the way that you present yourself, the way that you show up for people, for, for calls, for business is a choice. But then also taking that action, especially as an entrepreneur, nobody's making you do anything. So nobody made you get on the call tonight. Hopefully not, right? You chose, congratulations to each and every one of you, you chose to be on this call tonight. So kudos to you. That is a effective action that you're taking right now. So your effective actions require consistent daily manage, uh, management. So every day you choose your activities, right? So, you know, obviously you can choose what you eat, what you put in your mouth, good or bad, what you say, what comes out of your mouth, good or bad is a choice. Um, you know, what you do uh, on your KPIs, your to-do list, how you treat people. These are actions that you take that stem from mindset, that stem from goals, that stem from where you want to go, beliefs, confidence, all this stuff that we have inside of us. And I know a lot of you, and including myself, need to work on certain things. We always want to improve our confidence, our attitudes, and stuff like that. 
So I want to start off by saying that the right things are those predetermined effective actions that are necessary in achieving your goals. Okay. So just like the choice of attitude, action is a choice and the choices regarding your effective actions require your consistent daily management. Every day you choose your act activities every day. Okay. So that's the good thing, right? That could be empowering, but it also can be overwhelming. And I, I hear a lot of people kind of tell me, Todd, I'm just so overwhelmed. You know, I, I don't know what to do. I, there's so much information, right? Well, to get out of the overwhelm, that's what we want to show you tonight, how to get out of that, you know, cause that feeling can keep someone kind of stung, uh, uh, like stuck. And I don't know if you ever felt stuck before or in an anxiety or even in a depression, you're like, man, I got all these resources. I got all these mentors and I got all this awesome stuff happening, but I just feel stuck, Todd. You know, I feel like I don't know how to get to that next level. Right. Well, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to show you how to get out or get to that next level. Right. So how can you determine whether an action is effective or ineffective simply by the end result? So we want to show you how to become more effective by getting better results. Now, I, I'm sure you can say, you know, I want that. I want better results. I want to do things effectively. I don't want to waste time. I don't know how many out there want to waste time, but I certainly don't. We're all getting older, right? So we want to do the most effective things that we possibly can. So on the, on the left hand here, it says effective actions deliver desirable results, okay? So again, anything in life. So if you want to lose 10 pounds and you get on a program that in 30 days you lose 10 pounds in a very healthy way, you're happy, right? And then you just keep maintaining that and keep doing the positive, effective actions on your workouts, on your meal plan. When it comes to affiliate marketing and our opportunity, if I'm going to reach out to business owners, I'm going to connect with certain business owners that I'm going to book appointments and that eventually will give me residual income, right? Also, effective actions are predetermined activities that support your goals. So what does predetermined mean? Predetermined means in the month of July, you have to set your predetermined activities, which is a better word for it, is initiatives. So I think a lot of times people get confused on goal setting versus initiative setting. So goal setting should only be done once a year. So every year, January 1st, you should set three goals maximum, one in three different areas of your life. One, that, let's say it's financial, because that's obviously what most people want to grow is their finances. Number two, let's say it could be health you know, whether it's losing weight or getting in better shape or building muscle or whatever it is, uh, lowering cholesterol, uh, helping heart, you know, back pain, you know, stuff like that, right? You're, you're setting a specific goal for 2024 at the end of the year, but then backtracking that since it's July 1st and a new month, you're saying, okay, how close am I to those three goals? Am I getting closer? Am I getting farther? And that's where you say, okay, what in July am I predetermined setting as an initiative that's going to support my yearly goal okay now ineffective actions are just filling up your daily schedule but aren't related to your goals okay necessary tasks that don't advance your uh, your 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 future vision let me give an example of this um so we have a lot of people on the call that let's say love a clean house right so an effective action is to make money so that you never have to clean your house but someone else cleans your house that's really the goal where you have maids or, you know, anyone that comes in, they do the laundry for you. I mean, you don't really want to be doing all that, do you? But in the meantime, before you make all this great money, laundry shouldn't be done in the middle of your work day. It should be done after work is over, especially when you work for yourself. And I've been working for myself for 22 years. And as an entrepreneur working from home, it's not the easiest because the refrigerator is right there. The TV is right there. You know, YouTube is right there. My phone is right there. I could just, hey, you know, what's going on in politics today? Hey, it's one o'clock. Uh, hey, what's what's up with the Trump thing today? Oh, the Supreme Court ruled. Um, okay, what's going on there? Now, I'll do that for 20 minutes while I'm maybe eating lunch. Uh, okay, have a little bit of a break. Just like you have a corporate America job, you have a little bit of a lunch break, right? But I have a predetermined schedule. And I want you to write that down. What is your predetermined schedule when it comes to entrepreneurship? Because we all have one at a job because we're kind of forced to have one. But what do you do when it comes to entrepreneurship? Do you really have an hour, two hours, three hours blocked out for this? Or are you shooting from the hip? 
Now, shooting from the hip is kind of like whatever is clever. Whatever the day brings, I will just try my best. And a lot of people in my coaching practice always kind of say that. They're like, you know what? I'm trying my best, Todd. And all I say is, okay, show me your routine. Show me how many calls you booked in the past month. And we'll see if you're doing your best. Oh, but Todd, no, you know, what happened was my daughter, my cousin, my, my, I, I just was sick. Oh, oh, you're sick all month. Wow, you should probably go see someone for that. You know, so that's where the excuses come. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not blaming anyone right now. I'm just saying this is what I've been through for so long. And I've had my own excuses too. Don't get me wrong. Um, but man, I'm telling you, when you have an effective day and you plan your day before the day starts, I mean, you're just crushing it. I mean, man, it's Monday and you don't have the case of the Mondays, like the office space movie. Oh, you must have the case of the Mondays. Oh, you know. Um, you know, you, you're ready for Monday, you know, you should have been ready for July yesterday. Uh, but if not, then you're on the call tonight and let's get you ready for July. So this is setting you up for predetermined activities that are pre-planned, predetermined, that are focused on the effectiveness of where you want to end up at the end of July. Doing the dishwasher at one in the afternoon is not effective. Cleaning your house at one in the afternoon is not effective. Okay. Just as an example. Or, you know, replying back to emails or looking at social media. Like, if you're on social media, you should be posting your own stories. You should be, you know, creating momentum within your business. You should be attracting new affiliates. That's good for social media. But you just scrolling, it's actually so bad for you mentally. Because then, especially if you're not doing so good, you're not comparing yourself to other people within the industry or within other industries. Oh, this person looks like they're doing so good. And remember, social media is just a bunch of people's highlight reels. It's not the real vulnerable, you know, moments of not strength, but moments of weaknesses, right? So even for me, like I'm not posting, oh, today just sucked. I'm depressed. I'm anxious. I mean, those days that I really am like that, but I'm not like posting. I'll just won't post for the day, right? So social media for me is a great way to communicate and add value to other people. It's not there for me to scroll and to just see what everyone's doing in the world, okay? Because that, again, is not effective actions. That's ineffective actions. So the key to understand effective actions, it's not how much you do, but the effectiveness of what you do that counts. So I want you to think about June. What were some things that you did that were effective? I want you to write that down. What are some things in June that you did that were effective? Think about it. And then I also want you to write, what are some things that you did that were not effective? Maybe it was a bunch of sending emails that no one replied to. Maybe it was sending a bunch of texts in a mass text blast and no one responded to it. So is it effective for July? Is that the strategy for July that we should have then? If, if it's something that worked for a month or two months, are, are, why keep doing it? Maybe you should text individually, maybe a video. So let me give it a quick example. So let's say you are texting some people in your phone and maybe you want to introduce them to this opportunity as a potential affiliate, or maybe some of them are business owners. I would just make a video. I would just grab your phone and I would make a 30 second video. Hey, what's going on? Todd Taylor here. I'm just at my house. And you know what? I was thinking about you. Aren't you a business owner? If you are, hit me back up because I have a question for you. And you just send them a video because that's different than what anyone else would do. Or if you have someone that has a huge network, they, they have a lot of business contacts, shoot them a video and be like, hey, I was thinking about you and hope you're doing well. And yeah, I'm just at my house here and I just kind of work from home and in Tampa, Florida. And I was just thinking, you have a huge network. I remember last time we spoke about this and I don't know what you're doing these days, but I think we should get on the phone and maybe chat about it. Uh, I'm working on a project right now that uh, is incredible. And, and you're going to hear more about that towards the back half of this training. So that way you're really equipped to like really know what to say there. I'll kind of save that for the second half. But that actually is effective, a lot more effective than mass texting somebody. Okay, can I get an amen? Because you got to be different than everyone else. When I get a mass text from most people I don't know, or maybe someone I do know, maybe they're doing like an MLM or something. Oh, Todd, what's up? Man? And I just know it's not authentic. I don't usually respond. I'm just like, what is this guy doing? You know, it's embarrassing. So that's you have to, whatever's not working, stop doing it. Okay. Um, now, if you just started making calls since yesterday, you got to make sure that you're doing it long enough. Okay. To see that it's effectiveness. The other thing about high achievers too, 
not just low achievers or people that aren't doing anything, but even at the high level of high achievers often feel overwhelmed or they overwhelm themselves and they feel guilty for not accomplishing everything. So you might be that person that's an overachiever, so disciplined, you have a to-do list of 30 things, but you only get around to five out of the 30 every day. So we got to limit your list. Even though you want to accomplish so much in one day, out of the 30 things on your to-do list, what's going to give you, and I want you to really think about this, what's going to give you the most return on your money? What's something that's going to give you the highest level of return as opposed to just getting things done and it's just simply a to-do list, but it's actually making you worse off. It's not making you more wealthy. It's not making you have more time freedom. It's actually putting more work and more pressure and more stress on you. So there has to be some kind of change. Now, let me give you an example in the health world. So let's say you're someone that every day, you're like, I work out every day, Todd, every day. I'm like, okay, well, what do you do every day? I eat oatmeal and eggs in the morning. I have a sandwich in the afternoon and I have steak in it and I have steak and potatoes every night. I run five miles on the treadmill seven days a week, but I have no abs and I still feel out of shape. Okay. I know people like this. They think running on a treadmill every day is going to get you in shape. And I was one of those people many years ago. Well, it's not going to get you in shape. Okay. You got to switch it up. You got to do leg day. One day you got to do some full body, you know, weightlifting, maybe some yoga, then some cardio, maybe running maybe two to three times a week. And then you got to do some other things that really kind of confuse the body in a good way. So the metabolism goes up, especially if you're a little bit older, you know, hit workouts, weightlifting, cardio, or a combo, change your diet a little bit more. You know what I mean? So there has to be more effectiveness to get more results that you are desiring as opposed to doing the same thing over and over and over again, but it's not literally giving you the results that you desire. So we got to separate necessary tasks, the tasks from effective actions. Okay. The danger of comfort. So this is, this is where we all go through this. Okay. And, and the biggest enemy, and yes, it is the inner me, right? You versus you, but the biggest enemy that you and I will have in ourselves is the forces of apathy, the forces of apathy, and apathy is a natural human instinct common to us all, which we constantly seek our comfort zone, which nothing ever changes. So, you know, we get comfortable, right? We get comfortable with a salary. We get comfortable with a person. We get comfortable with our kids. We get comfortable with ourselves, the way we look, the way we feel. And then we hang out with somebody that's like 10 times or not 10 times, 10 years older than us. And they look better than us. They're richer than us. They have a better marriage than us. And you're thinking to yourself, what is that person doing that I'm not? How does that person have what they have? And what am I doing? So it's also about the mastermind. It's also about learning different ways to attack and to be more effective, whether it's business or your personal life. And even as we age in the health and wellness world, the same meal you ate in the 20-year-old is probably not the same meal you're going to eat as a 45-year-old. So we have to constantly seek new knowledge. That's why you're on the call today. That, you know, what's one of the battles of you versus you is you versus your knowledge, right? We've got to get the right knowledge. You know, we got to do our research. We got to be, hey, what can I do to position myself in this month between now and the next six months to start making $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, $100,000 a month in residual income? It's learning. It's understanding the business model. It's understanding how we show up, how we talk on the phone. Um, I'll give an example. So actors, as all of you know, they do these auditions. And nowadays, ever since COVID, a lot of actors, even still to this day, do auditions via uh, Zoom or video, which is really cool because, you know, hey, you can mess up and do it again and do it again, and then finally get the right take and then send it into the agency. The problem with that is you get too comfortable. Because the best audition is actually being in person, in my opinion, okay? It's the same thing with dating. It's like you can do the whole social media stuff back and forth, and then you realize that the person's profile picture is an AI picture. It's not really what she looks like or he looks like. And then you do a FaceTime, which is a little bit out of the comfort zone, but still, okay, okay, cool. They're attractive, okay. But nothing compares to going on a date, a real 3D date, <laughs> you know, when you're, you are in front of that person having dinner and you're like looking at them and you're like talking to them 
And is this the same person that portrays herself or himself on social media? You could be the judge of that in literally five minutes or less. And then you can decide in that 3D experience, is this someone I really want to move forward with? Or maybe go on a second date. You're going to know in five minutes. And that's a 3D example. But again, you could be talking to someone on social media for years and then realize when you first, when you meet, you're like, oh my God, this is not who they portray themselves as. So my whole point of that is you got to get in it, right? You got to really experience real life and experience the real call and real rejection and real business owners that you talk to and that you real instead of just studying and learning and studying and learning, it's a good combo to do both, okay? Now, getting out of your comfort zone and getting rejected is the best thing that will ever happen to you. It's the best thing that can ever happen to you. And you might say, well, isn't booking a call and getting a deal closed the best thing that's ever happened to you? Yes, but the only way that you're ever gonna get a deal closed is by getting rejected first. Um, I got to tell you, like, again, in the acting world, there's been so many, some of your top favorite actors, if you have any, got rejected over and over and over and over and over again before their first big break. I don't know any actor, I don't know if you know any actor, that just crushed it on their very first audition and now they're famous. They don't exist. I don't know any multimillionaire that just made their millions and then never had any problems their whole life. They usually probably suffered homelessness at one point, like I did, bankruptcy, uh, financial ruin, divorce, until they made their millions. You've got to go through the pain to better understand the, the position you're about to go, the abundance that you're about to experience. I'm not saying you got to go through a lot of suffering. Maybe you've already been through so much suffering. That's great. As long as you can learn from that, you can crush this business opportunity even faster if you can take your life experiences, not dwell on the past, but actually learn from the past so that you don't have to repeat the past. So effective actions often feel uncomfortable, but are crucial for success, right? So getting you that confidence, that's the key word, confidence. So let's kind of talk about building confidence right now. This is really exciting because the more confident someone is, the better they're going to do. Now, I want you guys to close your eyes. Uh, just visualize. I mean, this isn't weird. I just, or you don't have to close your eyes. But how many of you know the fighter, Conor McGregor? How many of you guys are maybe UFC fans? And okay, maybe you're not. Maybe you don't have. I'm sure most of you know who Conor McGregor is. If not, look him up afterward. Go to YouTube and Google or look up YouTube. Conor McGregor entering a fight. So Conor McGregor has lost. In fact, his last loss was in 2020. It was a devastating loss. He broke his leg. Okay, it's pretty disgusting. But he has a Netflix thing on, uh, McGregor Forever. The reason I'm bringing him up is I saw him live twice in Vegas, one of the greatest nights of my life. I, and he won one and he lost the other. But when he walks into the 15 to 20,000 arena, it is electrifying. It is insane. It's, it's like he is a nowadays Muhammad Ali. Now, I, I never saw Muhammad Ali because I'm, I'm only 43. But, I mean, I've looked at videotape. But when Muhammad Ali was in his prime, we're talking the 60s and the 70s, you know, the greatest. I am the greatest, you know. It's, or Mike Tyson in the 90s, right? It's electrifying. So why is it electric? Because when someone with great confidence walks into a room and owns the room, everyone pays attention. And when you walk into this room, now we're not in the UFC fighting. We're not trying to go crush someone, right? Physically, but it's a good lesson to learn. So when I'm on my phone calls, I think of Conor McGregor. I'll literally watch clips of Tom Brady, Conor McGregor, Michael Jordan, anyone that inspires me so that I can have that confidence because people are attracted to confidence. They're attracted to competence. So being competent equals confidence. So if you're competent about this, if you're competent about achievement, if you're competent about where you're going in life, if you're clear, what does the Bible say? A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So until you make the decision, be like, I'm, I'm in. I'm going to crush this with Todd. I'm going to crush this with my group. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to earn a $10,000 month residual income paycheck every month in the next six months. And then that's going to go to $100,000 a month. I believe it. I claim it. I, I, I proclaim it. It's happening. I'm putting it in my journal. I'm putting it all over my wall. And you go do it. Your mind goes from unstable to stable. It goes from, I don't know how I'm ever going to accomplish this to I got this. And when 
think about even when we're in like a, a dire situation or in the middle of a jungle and like all of us are like, oh my God, we're all going to die. We have no food, no water. What's going on? And then one of us says, I know exactly what to do. And then they actually do. And they literally help save our lives. They're like, Let, here's why we're going to get the water. Here's how we're going to you know, eat food from the, from the ground. Because they have the experience and the confidence of survival. And that saved our group. It saved our lives. That is so important that you come to the table here learning and doing it, coming back to learning and then doing it, taking the action. 20 hours in the, uh, in the classroom is worth one hour in the field. So one hour of making calls is worth 20 hours of training. So that means you are on this training for 20 weeks in a row every Monday night, which is awesome right? But if you just do the work for an hour, it's equivalent to 20 weeks straight of training. Now, you don't just do one or the other. You don't just do action, 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 because then you lose the confidence. So it's one thing to be confident, but if you don't have the confidence, what do we call that class? Arrogance, ego. You don't want to have arrogance. Arrogance is you don't know what you're talking about, but you think you know what you're talking about, or you're better, or you think you're better than you really are. That's arrogance. But if you are really good, and you're really confident, that's not arrogance. That's, that's attraction, okay? We're attracted to that. So to achieve, manage your actions based on a proven system, not feelings. So how do we, how do we get confidence? Through small successful attempts in a proven system. So if I make five calls a day, no matter what, come higher hell water, five days a week, I, I'm talking to five business owners a day, I'm gonna book at least one, two, three, maybe five or more calls a week. I do that over and over, over, over a consistent period of time. I'm going to be literally one of the greatest appointment bookers in the country. And then I'm also going to be making the greatest income monthly in the country. Okay. And we'll get to that here in a little while, but it does require practicing new skills, experiencing some discomfort. And there's so many people that I've, I've experienced in my lifetime that just quit over this discomfort. Oh man, you know, this guy said it was, uh, you know, they're not interested and blah, blah, blah. Guys, who gives a flying F, okay? I'm not going to swear, but who gives a flying whatever? You know, that's part of life. Are you kidding me? It's so interesting that human beings are so resilient. So think about this, because I think this will blow your mind, this analogy. So how many of you know or have been divorced, okay? How many of you know someone that's been divorced or have been a divorce, divorce yourself. Okay. So there's very few people that I've ever met that have been divorced that say, you know what? I'm never, ever going to date again. Now there are some people like that, maybe 1%, 2%, but people that have been through one divorce, two divorces, three, four, five, whatever, they always are trying to seek love. And even if the divorces were not their fault, let's just say they're not, they're not going to stay single for long or forever. They're always going to say, you know, I, I'm, I'm, they're always going to be looking for that love because we as human beings, we love love. We love the rom-coms. We love the romantic stories of love. I don't care if you're a male or female. And hopefully you don't give up on love, even if you've been smashed, you know, with love in the past or fake love or narcissistic love or anything like that. But isn't that interesting how humans are so resilient when it comes to the hardest thing you'll ever experience? That's a broken heart. But again, when this business, because you can mend your heart pretty well when you're making hundred grand a month, <laughs> because you have so many different options that you don't have now, and it's all residual, just think about that. Be resilient in this. And honestly, you can have anything you want. Okay, you really can. And you can position yourself in such a way that and you set yourself up for the future that you can be so much more healthier physically, mentally, emotionally. Because money does buy a certain form of happiness, okay? It really does. Anyone that says money doesn't make me happy is an idiot. That means they're broke, okay? Money does make people happy. It gives options. Let me, let me give an example. Let's say, um, and I'm kind of going off tangent here, but this is so important to really share this. So let's say you're really broke right now. You're an adult, you have children, and you are so broke that you don't even know how to pay for your groceries this week. And this might be you. So maybe this is a inspirational tale. How do you feel right now? Do you feel happy? No. Do you feel sad? Absolutely. Even if you're in good health, great. I mean, lots to be grateful for. You're in good health. You have good kids. Okay. But if you can't buy groceries for your family 
Are you in a dire situation? Yes or yes? Yes. Now, let's reverse that. You have children, you're healthy, and you have millions of dollars in the bank. You can buy anything you want. You can buy groceries. You can put your kids in the greatest colleges that they deserve if they, if they deserve it. You can give back to anyone that is struggling for groceries without wanting money back. You can give unanimously. You can do whatever you want. You can wake up at 10 in the, in the morning. You can wake up at 10 at night, okay? You don't have a job. You have freedom to do whatever you want to do. Are you happier in that scenario or happier when you're completely struggling? And even if your husband or wife loves you unconditionally, it's still hard. Marriage broke is hard. I don't care how much you love the other person. Love is not enough. You need food in your belly and you need a house over your head. You need to love, but you also need to make money. So anyone that says that is broke. Do not listen to them. Now, I'm not saying money is everything, and, and, and this program is not about money, 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 and we love money. <laughs> it's not greed. This is not a program on greed. This is a program on achievement. This is a program on financial freedom to set you up for the rest of your life so that you can do more important things than make money. Do you think making money is Im so important? No. You know, we live one life. Mo there's a lot more important things to do than just making money. But what I love about this opportunity is you can make a lot of money quickly, but you can make it residual over and over and over again for doing something once that sets you up for the rest of your life. Okay. So that is obviously what's super exciting. So, um, Identifying effective action. So we're going to show you at the very end of the slides today what the key performance indicators should be to give you an example in the business that we're in on exactly what to do. And you can take a screenshot of it just so you have it. It's super effective. But if but I also encourage you after we talk about the business side, also you should focus on the other side, like your health, um, relationships, spirituality, maybe the book you want to read, the, you know, stuff that you want to do also that are important KPIs for you that are going to give you what you want at the end of the month of July, but are pulling you towards your vision at the end of the year, okay? And you want to design your daily actions around the KPIs in sufficient numbers to hit the goals. And we got that done for you today. So we're going to show you at the very end. All right, so the process of achievement, doing the right things consistently over a sustained period of time. So don't do the same thing that doesn't work uh, you know, consistently over a period of time. Do the right things sustained over a long period of time. So for instance, I use this example a lot, but if I'm just getting up to take golf, I start golfing and I don't have a trainer um, or whatever, whatever they're called, the coach, and I just go to a driving range and I start hitting balls. I take my I'm not nine iron out. I take my three iron. I take my wood, my five wood, whatever. I just start swinging like Billy Madison, right? Uh, boom, boom. I, everything's wrong. My form's off, everything. I could do that a thousand times a day and still be the worst golfer in the history of the world, even if I'm hitting a thousand golf balls a day. But if I get a trainer, if I get a coach, somebody that's uh, going to stand next to me, they're going to show me my positioning, how I, how I use the golf club, how I address the ball, how I um, you know swing, how I keep my elbow in, all of the effectiveness of hitting a wood compared to hitting a putter, uh, to, to chipping, to you know long iron. You know, that's where I'm going to become a better golfer. And if I'm doing a thousand of those a day, I'm going to be phenomenal golfer sustained over a long period of time. Right. So it's, it's, it's also the effectiveness, the two life choices here. You just have to decide, okay, am I going to grow with this? Am I going to grow in my life? Am I going to grow in my personal development? Or am I just going to focus on, you know what? And this is what, this is the big, okay, this is a big no, no. And I get this from some of my clients. I get this from some of my affiliates. And again, they don't even know better when they say this. Um, but someone says to me, well, this month I'm going to kind of pause, but next month I'm going to crush it. There's no such thing. That's like saying, I'm not going to work out for this month, but boy, oh boy, watch out world for next month. I'm going to get back to working out. I'm going to eat Krispy Kremes all month, but next month I'm going on a diet, man. Watch what I do. It's bull crap, okay? It's, that's not achievement. Pausing, taking time off, other than a real planned vacation, is BS. You will never, ever, ever achieve anything great in life taking time off. You're either choosing to grow or you're choosing to decline. There is no in-between of like, I'm gonna stay here, just chill. 
I'm just going to be on the trainings, but I'm not going to really do anything. You ain't accomplishing nothing. Does that make sense? So in today's training, I want you to really decide I'm going to grow. It's a choice. I'm going to choose to grow. I'm going to read every day. I'm going to journal every day. I'm going to meditate every day. I'm going to do my five talk twos and I'm going to show you exactly what it is at the end. So you have, you have no confusion about what you need to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. So managing effective actions, track leading indicators every day. Uh, again, I'm going to show you what those are at the end. Number two, many leaders track monthly sales but it's lagging indicators, which show past performance. We already kind of talked about that. Maybe you're gonna to have to switch some of the KPIs to some, something more effective than what has been going on. And then the leading indicators allow corrective action to avoid problems and achieve desired results. Okay, does that make sense? So again, we're building that confidence. We're doing the right things every single day. We're identifying effective actions and we're writing it down. What are the effective actions, especially in this business, and are you sticking to it and being consistent every single day? Remember, to achieve, you must manage your choice of action from a proven system rather than your feelings or emotions. So money doesn't care about your feelings. Uh, write that down. Making money doesn't care about your feelings or emotions. In fact, you can actually leverage your emotions to make more money by deciding that you deserve it. So emotionally, you can say, I deserve it. I'm attracting it. I'm focused on making more money and I deserve it. And I'm going to go after it. I'm going to do the necessary things. So sure, it starts from emotions, but you can't manage it from emotions because a lot of us are so up and down every day. And of course, life just happens. And, you know, there's good things that happen to us. There's bad things that happen to us. A lot of the bad things are out of our control. So we cannot manage from emotions. So Consistent achievement comes from choose, identify, manage, and measure effective actions. And doing the right things consistently over time leads to achievement. Are you guys getting this? I mean, this is, you know, for me, how I live my life, how I've been so successful in everything I've ever done in 22 years. And I will say, here's my secret. I could not do this alone. If you ever read my book, You Versus You, I think it's um, You Versus Your Dreams, Your Success. There was a event in Salado, Texas in 2006 with the great late Paul J. Meyer. Look him up, billionaire. Uh, he was incredible. He was one of our business partners back in that company that I was working for back in 2006. And my um, uh, daughter was about to be born. My first daughter who's now 17 going into college this year. And I begged my wife at the time, oh, please, I got to go this. I won this event. She's like, no way. You could never go. How dare you leave me? So I was able to, um, and I won this event. Uh, it wasn't anything I did wrong. It was like really good. I was making like 60000 a year at the time in direct sales. And I, I was like 25 years old. And um, I finally was able to convince her to go. And I, from San Diego, I flew to um, Salado, Texas, which is near Austin, Texas. And this was a ranch. And this is what Paul J. Meyer owned. And I went into this big barn looking thing. And I spent two days just learning leadership and learning how to become a more effective leader and everything. And Ken Blanchard was there from the One Minute Manager. He's phenomenal. He's a professor at San Diego State University, a New York Times bestseller, incredible man. Read one of my favorite books, Lead Like Jesus. And uh, just a credible, credible book. So he was there and I was blown away. And then Paul J. Meyer was there and he was like, oh, my, Paul J. Meyer was like the grandfather of personal development. I mean, he knew Earl Nightingale was good friends with them, Napoleon Hill. Uh, I mean, he was obviously about 80 some years old at the time. And then this man comes up and he's like, hi, my name is David Bird. And I'm going to talk to you today about effectiveness. And I'm like, everyone like tuned out because of his, I guess, his, um, because he's from uh, Texas and South Carolina, but I didn't. Because what he was saying was like, what the, did he just say? And everything I'm telling you is what he said. Because I was in this business where I needed more consistency. I needed to make sure I knew what KPIs were. What are the better questions I should ask my affiliates? All this stuff. I'm telling you, after his one hour event, he left. When he was leaving, I left the event. I tracked him down and I said, sir, hi, my name is Todd Cahill. You're going to be my coach. And he's like, oh, son, I, I, I don't coach anymore, son. I'm, I'm the CEO of Paul J. Meyer, Inc. Okay, I don't coach anymore, son. And, um, but but I'll, I'll, I'll sure introduce you to some people that do. And I said, no, 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 sir. Do you have a card? And he gave me his card. And for six months, I tracked him down. I called his office, called his office when I got back to San Diego. 
And I never heard back from him. And I was kind of, I was like disappointed. I'm like, this guy, like, please, doesn't he see how much I need him in my life? Well, six months, you know, totally, you know, six months later, he calls me from a 214 number. And I'm like, hello. And I was on my way to a meeting. And he's like, hi, is this Tal? And I'm like, yes. And, I'm, and he's like, I, he said to me, I've never in my life. Now, he's the CEO of a major company, Paul J. Myers company, the leadership company. He's been a leadership CEO for like decades. And he said, Todd, I will take you on as my client because I've never in my lifetime seen so buddy, so, someone like you so hungry. And he was my coach for 16 or 17 years. And we, we've had a lot of success together. And I blessed him and he blessed me. It was a wonderful relationship. So my whole point of that story is you have to be hungry and to understand that you cannot do this alone. There's people like myself. There's people here to help you, guide you, support you, to create massive success in your life. But you got to be as hungry as I was when I had, and by the way, I didn't know his price, by the way. And I was making 60000 a year. I could care less if he charged $100,000. I'm going to figure out how much he costs. And I didn't care about the price because I knew the return on investment hiring someone like that in my life is going to be unbelievable. You know what I went? I went from 60000 a year to multiple six figures a year to a million dollars a year consistently over time, many years over. We went from that company to another company that he became the whole coach of the whole company. In fact, the company hired him and he changed the lives of thousands and thousands of people. Everyone that said, why would you hire him? Hired him after they saw my success. So I'm telling you, coaches, mentors is everything. And you, if you don't believe that, ask Michael Jordan, ask Tiger Woods, ask Tom Brady. Tom Brady just gave a speech about two weeks ago. Half his speech was about Bill Belichick, if you caught it, his Hall of Fame speech for the Patriots. Bill Belichick made Tom Brady. Bill Belichick got him drafted 199th position. Okay, one of the greatest athletic stories ever told. Greatest NFL seven Super Bowl rings, six with the Patriots, with Bill Belichick. So if Tom Brady needs a coach, you need a coach, okay? So I need a coach. Very, very important. So, um, okay, so going to this. So, so that's So let's transition now into, for the next 15 minutes, Okay, how do we take this and run with it? How do we actually put bank money in our bank account? How do we take this achievement, this leadership, making wise choices and transfer that into the belief, but then into cha-ching, cha-ching, right? So just remember, everyone out there in America, they go to school, they get good grades, they get a good job, they come out, they're completely in debt, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and then they apply for a job. Did you know that 13% of Americans make $100,000 a year more? Only 13%. 87% of people in this country, when we deal with inflation, look, I just went to Sprouts. It's like a Whole Foods. I got five bags of groceries. It cost me 360 bucks. Uh, avocados just about a month ago were $4.99. Now they're $7.99. Eggs was $6.99. Now they're $10.99 at Sprouts in Tampa, Florida. Inflation is real, okay? Whether you're a Democrat or Republican, bipartisan, we both, all should, all of us, whatever party you're from, we have to focus on inflation. Like, it's a real issue. It really is. This economy is not like it used to be. So if you're making $100,000 a year or less, you're going to be pinched. It's very tough to survive on $100,000 a year. Now, if you make a salary of $100,000 a year, 40% of that is taken out of taxes anyway. So even on paper, if you're making 100 grand a year, oh, congratulations, it's not a big deal. That means you're only making 60,000 take home. If you have kids, if you have a husband or a, a wife, you're struggling. That's why so many people are struggling, okay? Now, only 1% of the world makes residual. So how do you make 100,000 a year in this particular opportunity? You have, you just need less than 2000 employees signed up. That's it. One time only. So again, 2000 employees is $10,000 a month. That's more than six figures. That's 120,000 a year. And all you have to do is book some appointments. Once they close, you're good. You're making $10,000 a month, every month on the 15th month after month, after month, after month, after month. I got my residual check coming on the 15th, baby. I'm already starting to make those residuals already from the work that I did this year. It's happening. It's growing. 
I have over 100,000 employees on the finish line right now that, that'll make me a half a million a month or more, okay, within four months of this opportunity. I'm telling you, this is where the, the men are separated from the boys, the girls from the ladies, okay, and the women. Because this opportunity is something that you can get way beyond the 1% of the world and wealthy and rich and residual and get out of the rat race, get out of this whole running for money stuff or, or like just, oh man, you know, wait till next Monday to cash my check. I mean, those days are over. Uh, very soon they will be over. So we're going to help you master affiliate marketing and branding strategies to help you gain uh, this obviously unlimited residual income. So let's talk about our firm. So our firm, I'm, I've been using them since April. Uh, to me, it's the it's the equivalent of the Chicago Bulls of 1996. This is a winning organization. They've been featured in all of these publications, CL Weekly, Digital Journal, Global Banking and Finance, IBT Time, Madison Graphic, Markle Hair, you know, all of this stuff. We've been featured in these publications. They've been around since 2013. They do the PCMP program. I'm not going to get into it right now because we have the Thursday training once you become an official affiliate with the T Group. They've, they've been phenomenal. They've been um, so open to the dashboard, um, you know, what all their deals are doing, how they're going. And also they've been proved. So if we have any issues with some of the calls and we can give feedback, they actually keep improving. We have a very healthy relationship with this firm. I talk to the leadership and the C-suite staff all the time. We have a, a personal liaison named Giovanni that helps us with everything. Um, and this is this is brand new news. So last week, the eighth largest law firm in all of America and the most renowned Arisa Law Firm. Now, just so you know, this particular law firm is in 47 different locations in the United States of America. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of attorneys work for this particular law firm. I'm not going to name the law firm just because I'm not sure if I'm able to do that. But any company that you book with a T group, they show the letter. But this is the same law firm that is uh, notorious for actually saying that the section 125 plans are not good. This is the same law firm that for all the other companies out there said, nope, not compliant, you shouldn't do it. This is not a paid advertisement. You can't pay them to say what they said about us. But they said in a letter last week written that we have, that we're showing all of our, uh, our businesses that the T plan is fully compliant to, to all IRS codes that are in consideration. So what that means is our plan, our PCMP program is completely 100% compliant all codes that the IRS has. The Affordable Cares Act, Section 125. There's not another company in North America that has that kind of credibility. That's like the New York Times saying how great we are because you can't buy publication from the New York Times. You could from like Yahoo Finance or USA Today, but you can't buy it from this law firm. Again, it's the eighth largest law firm in the country, in America, 47 different locations. So that just shows you, and this is new news, that just shows you, yes, we have all the articles, but now we got this law firm in downtown Manhattan that is literally praising us in a letter saying, we agree and everything that they're doing, we recommend that businesses do what they do in their TE plan. That's phenomenal, guys. And that's what makes me so excited even more to get on the phone with Starbucks and Walmart and Chevy. We also have signed up some major car dealerships, We've signed up some major unions, municipalities. Um, we got a couple of deals that I'm closing that are massive brands that every single one of you know about. So what we do is as an affiliate, you are with this company, right? So again, it's free. You can sign up for free if you already signed up. Great. So book meetings is your main job. So you're like, okay, what do I do? I want to make money. I want to make residual. Okay, you just have to book meetings. Book job. Uh, you know, your job is to secure meetings with potential clients and partners. So if you know businesses that have 20 more employees or more, get on the phone, learn the training, go through the training, go through your dashboard, do all of the onboarding every Tuesday. Tomorrow we have an onboarding call with Giovanni at 2 p.m. Eastern. Be on that call. Reach out to me after this. I'll give you the Google link. Make sure that you're official. Get the DocuSign if you're not official. And if you already are with them, get on that if you haven't gotten that. Learn how, when, where, who, but all you got to do at the end of the day is get just good. I mean, I would say go from good to great, but eventually become great at just simply connecting with businesses and just going through a couple of things that I don't have time to go through now, but really connecting with them and booking the appointment.
and that's it. And then once they are booked, the TA group takes over. You don't have to follow up with them. You don't have to do any consensus or, or I'm sorry, census and, and do all this blah, 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 you know, follow up. And you don't know what anything's going on. You don't even know, okay, do, what do I do? Uh, do I follow up with them? I don't know. I don't see any reports. That's exactly the opposite of what we do here. You see all the reports, you have a login to your dashboard, marketing materials, everything that you could possibly imagine. So identify and reach out to potential leads. We even have a LinkedIn training that my business partner, Sarah, did last week that will blow anyone away. One of the top executives at Salesforce, who now works with my company as well, did it a phenomenal LinkedIn training. I'm literally showing you through Sales Navigator how to connect with any market, of your background, whether it's the automotive industry, health industry, any industry that you can think of that you have a background in or that you feel confident in, we can do that. Um, obviously, the context you already have currently, even if you don't even have any context currently, okay? So schedule meetings to discuss opportunities and solutions from our executive partnerships. So your five key business owner objectives here are this, okay? You can take a screenshot of this. Number one, add new leads to your daily list daily. Like you're adding, okay, who's a business owner? 20 more W-2s all the way up to 20,000, 30,000 every day. Add it, look at your contact list, look at your LinkedIn, look at your social media. Great. Number two, follow up with leads and prospects through a drip campaign. That's on the LinkedIn training. A drip campaign simply could also mean you are consistently following up with them every Monday through Friday. Number three, document outputs and interactions in a CRM. We've even created a CRM for our clients. Okay, the people that personally work with me on a coaching level. You know, five reach out today is what I ask my clients minimum. So that means you're having five actual conversations with business owners about getting on a call with licensed professionals in New York. Number four, achieving five significant conversations. Again, that's what I just said. And then number five, book one meeting per day, five days a week. Okay, that's, that's 20 meetings a month. I mean, anyone here could do that. Now, I know a lot of people don't do that. They think booking one call a month is cool. I mean, that's good. Okay, that's not really much. But think bigger, guys and gals. Think bigger on this. Where are you going to be a year from now? Are you going to be in the same situation you are now? Or are you going to really change the future of your children's children? This is a kind of, let me just give you some numbers. So if you had a business that had 10,000 employees or a bunch of little ones that added up to 10,000 and you close, a T group closed them, you're making a minimum $5 per employee. That's $50,000 a month for years to come that you're making off one effort. If those are all underneath you frontline with the potential affiliates that you can bring, because it's an affiliate opportunity out frontline to you, not multi-level, but you would make $2 times 10,000. That's 20,000 a month in residual override income. That's insane. That's why the next screen, you could take a, its QR code here, but this Wednesday, this is what I do for everybody. So tonight we have a training, helping you become a better leader, helping you focus on the right KPIs. On Wednesday night, it's for you to invite into anyone that wants to join you in this venture. Because all I know is leverage income is the best income. So for instance, if you know somebody that knows more business owners than you, somebody that's a go-getter, somebody that's already an affiliate marketer, you just simply invite them here. Uh, there's a webinar on Wednesday night that I do live. It takes about 20 minutes to go through the whole thing. And then they're like, I'm in. And then they go back to you. And then you get their full name, their email, and their phone number, and you text it to me. And then I send that over because that's protocol to the T group and the right people. And then I'll put your name, put this person underneath so-and-so, which is you. And then they're going to send the DocuSign, and then we get them onboarded. Boom. You have an affiliate underneath you where you don't have to do the work and the heavy lifting. You just Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you invite them into this webinar that I do a special presentation that's different than today, obviously, that explains what we do, how we do it. And we're looking for, you know, applicants. Now, here's the thing. We don't want everyone and anybody. This is not an MLM. This is not an isogenics. This is not an Amway. This is not none of that crap. This is very inclusive, exclusive. We honestly, we only want a hundred affiliates total. I now have about 75 total. We only want 25 more people. That's it. And then also out of the 75 we currently have, if one, two, five of those people are not performing and they've been around for the past couple of months and they're not doing anything, we delete that. Now we'll give them enough warning. We'll give them some chances, but if they still don't respond, they 
they're not on this call and I'm tracking everything, they're gone. They're done. Delete it. Now you might say, well, Todd, that's a little harsh. Yeah, but we don't, we don't have the capacity on the technology standpoint with this firm because it's not like an MLM thing to just have all these people with signs that are out there that are not doing anything. So we only want, my goal is to have a hundred top producers. That is my goal. And I will accomplish this goal by end of summer. And if you're in, you're in. If you're not, you're not. And that's all we ask of you today. Now, this is all free. There's nothing that you have to do. There's nothing, there's no obligate. All you got to do is understand how big this opportunity is and freaking go. Get training, take action, understand the value that I'm adding every Monday, the training, what we put together, the slides, my team, me recruiting some of the people, you know, top Salesforce people in the world to help us, to grow us. And you get to participate if you think that you really know business owners and that you can do this. And if not, no problem. You know, no problem. I mean, nothing against you. I mean, God bless you. But man, the opportunity here is so powerful to not only you produce, but also get a couple people underneath you that just can take off with this. I mean, think about just one person that puts 10,000 in over the period of the next six months, that's 20,000 a month in residual income for you just getting someone on board. That's it. Getting someone on a webinar with me. That's it. Your job is easy. My job is easy. Even calling business owners is easy. Once you get the hang of it, once you get competence and you get that confidence. So again, I just encourage you take this and run with it. This is an amazing opportunity. We have such a great relationship. And now with the eighth largest law firm in the United States of America praising us, there's no one in this com country or company. We are not in competition with anyone now. Do you guys realize that? We are beyond anything out there in the Section 125 plans. This is amazing. And we can close massive, huge companies with this too. The 10,000, the 20,000, the 30,000, right? Now, I'm not saying go you know, whale hunting only. Go get 100 employees, 200 employees, 500 employees, 250. I mean, all day, every day. And then you get paid 60 days later, take six to eight weeks once they sign the dotted line and you get paid, you know, monthly residuals on the 15th. Okay. The month after that they are official, you know, so it takes about six to eight weeks after they sign the agreement. And we had a lot of people assigned last week alone uh, that's our, that are official. So we've only been doing this for like four months. So things are happening. Deals are closing. Um, it's, 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 it's happening, but the company has been around since 2013. So this relationship has really been growing for the past uh, couple of years with our firm, Wi-Fi Money. And now, I mean, it's now more than ever, it's like incredible and it's only getting better and better. So I just encourage you, reach out to the person that invited you, reach out to me. How can we help you? How can we help you crush this? You know, make sure that you scan that thing and uh, let us know how we can help because uh, I'm excited to work with you. I'm excited to partner with you. All you gotta do is make yourself known that you're in in July, that you're going to produce. And if you're not going to produce, just let us know. We'll delete you and we'll make room for someone that does produce. And again, no offense, but this is such an inclusive, exclusive opportunity. We don't, we, we can't handle a bunch of people that don't produce. And I know you guys on this call are the producers, but there's a lot of people out there that need to get this message and they're not on this call, which is a little concerning. So again, if they're not on this call next week and next week, I mean, I'm just going to have to say, Hey, T group, Hey, so-and-so they ain't doing nothing. Delete them. So if you don't want to be deleted, let me know. Like, if you really want to do this, I really do need to know, like, who are my players? Who wants this? Who's going after this? Because we will do everything in our power to give you the resources necessary for you to win and you to be massively successful with us. So again, thank you so much for being on the call tonight. We appreciate you. Have a great rest of your evening. Happy July 4th week. God bless you all. We'll talk to you soon.